Hello you guys, welcome to my channel, thank you for watching. Now today we're going to be making some sea moss gel. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to measure out two cups of the sea moss and then we'll get started. Now I'm going to be keeping an eye just on how thick I can um, that this sea moss expands to because it's known for expanding so to keep an eye on that I'm using these cups and I used two of the exact same cups so we can see actually how much it grows another thing we're going to be paying attention to the um, water because a lot of information I've been getting on how to make this gel um, unfortunately I haven't found like clearly defined rules you know so that's what this video is going to be about today we're going to get to the bottom of how do you make this sea moss gel exactly what should you do what should you not do and all of those things so first of all you do have to rinse the sea moss off um you want to make sure that there's not um some salt on it people do know how to grow this in pools so this right here, this sea moss is from Jamaica and I can pretty much tell it wasn't grown in a pool. It had no um, flavor of salt, period. So like I said, I'm just going to rinse this three times and I'm being gentle with it. And the thickness of the strands remind me of rubber bands. So at the beginning, that's how thick these strands are about. Now, as I was um, cleaning it, I kind of felt like it was expanding, so I kind of decided to do it a little bit more and I mean kind of a little measure it a little bit and it seemed to be at about a cup and a half at this point so right away I knew it was because of the temperature of water that I was using so in order to make your sea moss gel you will need to use warm water Now I've added some warm water at one or two cups. It doesn't matter how much you add and just go ahead and cover it. Now it's been sitting for four hours at this point. And it has grown substantially. So I'm just going to take my cup and we're going to see how much did it grow. And I'm going to be skippy as I did before. So now we're about at three cups in four hours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back in there. Now I'm going to put it back in and let it sit overnight and then we'll come back and check our results. Make sure you cover it with water. To, where, to the point where it's soaking. Now at this point, it does not matter how much water that you add. 
So use about two cups, two to three cups. And you should be fine. Now we're back. It's been a full 24 hours now. And as you can see, the seed moss has grown. It has expanded a lot. I was shocked to see how um, large the strands were. I can already tell um, off the bat that the strands were about double in size. And like if you can see the little circles at the end of the plant, you they were not visible to the eye at first. So it, it's expanded to the point where you can see other characteristics in the sea moss. So now I'm just doing a little measurement thing again to see exactly how big did it grow. We know it's going to be be between 50% to 100%. So just take your juice, set it to the side. And the sea moss did double you guys. It doubled. And once again, that was overnight with 24 hours and warm water, warm and not and warm to the hot side, not to the cold. I did try sea moss with cold water and it was a complete fail. I ended up with juice. So now I'm just adding the sea moss to my blender. And I have a ninja blender. It's almost at the seven mark, but it was down to about six and a half to the six on the other side. So now what I'm doing is I'm act I'm adding in a cup of burdock root tea that I made prior. Now I was trying to fill it up to the one but looking ahead it appeared to be at the one so make sure when you're putting it in the blender and you're using the marks on the blender make sure that you physically like lean down and look at it next time i will be doing that here i had my arrows pointing in the wrong direction so <laughs> i couldn't get the lid to sit down I've only had this blender for like um, a couple weeks now, like three, four weeks. So now I'm just chopping it up on low. And I wanted you guys to kind of hear this process to get an idea of how long it needs to take. So as you can see, it has thick, chunks on the sides now I'm stopped it to check it and I'm gonna take a long plastic spoon and I'm gonna shove the chunks back down into the um, the rest of the contents And something I noticed too, I noticed that it kind of gets a little bit more sticky. So I do recommend um, pulsing it only 30 seconds at a time. It seems to kind of dry up when it gets on the glass and stays up there for too long. I noticed it had kind of a, like a drying effect. And I do also recommend 
that you, although you pour in your first cup to kind of just chop it up on low, medium, or high. Start off at low, go to medium, and then kind of just feed the water in there. And maybe take the top off, take your water, take it around the side so we can sweep the rest of the uh, seed moss back into the contents. And here it is after I had added another cup of water. A little bit under a cup because I was feeding it slowly so I can control it. I didn't want it to turn into juice. And this is how it looked for me when it gelled. It kind of looked like gel on the sides of the glass. So I thought that was helpful to see how it looks to you guys. I'm going to test it. And it is very pudding like. So here it kind of appeared to me to be a little bit watery plus pudding. Okay, so it looks very good right there. Very good. It's already congealed, already. So I was afraid to, I kind of wanted to put more water in there to kind of, I can still tell that there were some chunks in there. But again, I never made the gel before, so I was unsure about how thin you can actually get this. But I decided to left it, leave it at that gelled, um, chunk like consistency and when you taste it it has like um, if you've ever eaten grits if you've ever eaten applesauce it's kind of like that you know how it's kind of like a little gritty that's, that's how it is So I'm just making sure I be you write the date and give it two to three weeks. Write the date. I'm writing it on my whiteboard. You write it on the jar. Do whatever you got to do, but know when. Make sure you keep time limits of how long you've had it. And as you can see, you probably can pick up on the fact that it kind of looks like applesauce. Very pudding-like. Overall, I was happy with the results. In the future, I would probably do a small, small batch and play with the water to see how thin it can actually get. But it, it really doesn't need to get any better than that. You can just go ahead and add it to whatever you added to cake. Um, people add it to shakes, juices, whatever. So if you're gonna be taking it with something else, does have a seed like taste does not bother me might bother other people and i'm not really a fish person so it doesn't bother me though so what i did is i took the rest of my burdock root um tea and i put it inside the blender and i just um gave it to my fiance to drink right then i put the rest of the sea moss juice inside of there to store into the refrigerator, which you really want to use as a mason jar. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my podcast. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. I added another shot and here was the sea moss gel the next morning.